Hi, this is Perry from Mesa Digital Marketing, and today I'm going to show you how to position text and images on your bridge code slider. And for a bridge, they're going to call it content positioning. So here's a test website we have up right now, and you can see I've created actually a couple more slides with this one. It usually doesn't come with it, but um, we got a picture on one side, text and a button on another side, and this is the stock one. It usually just throws everything right in the middle. So we got alignment vertically and alignment um, horizontally. So this one just throws it, um, the, the, this is a graphic right on top of the title. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now um, and kind of recreate this together with you. First thing we're gonna do is to go into the back end of the site. I'm gonna go ahead and trash these so you can see what it looks like without them. Start again. Um, but you're gonna to go to the code slider section and you're gonna create new slides um, or you'll be editing your current slide. So I'm just going to show you how to do it brand new. So new slide. First one we're going to do is the simple one. We're just going to align everything vertically and center it horizontally. So if you want to skip ahead video to the other part, feel free. So this is going to be center aligned. Okay, and we're going to upload the slide image. This is the big background image. I would suggest at least 19, 20 pixels wide. We're going to use the jacket for this. The next thing you'll slide down to is the graphic, and it is called slide graphic. So there's a few different ones. This one, I don't know, it's about halfway down. Uh, make sure you do the slide graphic. And let's pick the premium image. This is going to upload it for the pixels you have. So again, um, you want to pick a pixel, have a PNG usually, logo for this. Um, and then the title is going to display as our text. So the next part is the content positioning, which is at the bottom. Keep sliding down, you'll see it. Code, slide, content positioning. So the graphic and the text and buttons, those are the two different variations that they do for code slider. The graphic can be on its own or with the other text and buttons. So let's let's say we want the graphic to be centered and we want the text to be centered. At this time, we don't care about the separations so will become important for the next one, but we also do want it to be vertically aligned to the middle. Now let's go ahead and hit update and see if I missed anything or publish. You do want to select the slider if you haven't already. Um, I've shown that in another video how to turn on a slider and apply it to your homepage. You can go check that out. Push publish, and let's go refresh our page. So remember I took away two of those slides that should just have the diamond one if it worked correctly, and the original one. So there's the middle center aligned new title, right? So we're good, good on this one. Now let's go ahead and do the next one. I'll get rid of that page. And we're gonna add a slide, and now this is gonna be left and right um, the image on one side and the text on the other side. This is, I see this a lot with the clients they want to have or people just generally want to have like an image of themselves, maybe a cropped out picture for life coaches, things like that on one side and then text on the other side or product on one side, text on the other side. So we're just going to call this one separate aligned, I guess. And then we'll upload an image, the same background image again. 1920, scroll down to the graphic. Oh, passed it. Let's do the line. None of these other ones are PNGs, so we just like to stick to the line one. And now we're going to go to the content positioning. So graphic alignment, we want that one to be on the right. And the text alignment, I want it to be on the left. And the... Uh, if I keep everything the same, it will actually not allow it. It's just going to throw them both on one side or the other. I'll just show you what that looks like. Home slider, publish. It's going to have them both on the left or both on the right because we haven't separated it yet. First slide. Here's our new one. Okay. So it's going to both on the left side and we don't want that. We want them to be separated. And I'm also going to show you how to get them not only separated but increase the separation because it kind of does it um, just kind of centered. 
when it goes left to right. So we'll hit yes, and it's gonna be separate now. I just wanna show you step by step so you can have an idea. But it's, you're noticing it's also keeping me at the top. If I hit vertically align, for some reason it doesn't work when you separate them. So we have to actually do either 50% from the top or bottom if you want it vertically aligned or um, I'll show you that in a second here. So there it is, you know, they're, they're too close together, the title's running over it. How do we fix that? Okay, so let's scroll down to the content positioning section and there's a bunch of places for percentages, okay? So the content again, this is saying text, buttons, things like that. Let's, that one's already on the left, so we wanna keep it on the left. So content, a position from the left percentage. So this is gonna say 10% from the left side of the screen. So this is the left side of the screen, it's gonna be just 10% in, depending on the size of the screen. And then we want to also do from the top, 50% down. Actually, I like it 40% down a little bit because it's got the header and the menu navigation. Now the graphic, same from the top, 40% from the top, and then that keeps it vertically aligned. And then we don't care about the left, we care about the right. We want this one to be 10% from the right. Okay, let's go see if we hit publish and if it did everything we wanted to. Again, a big use case of this is an image on one side, your product, your brand, or maybe a picture of you you're, you're as a life coach. So there's the first one. Um, and the second one, okay, now we're 40% from the top and bottom. It's a little off center from that, so maybe you do want to do 50%, but you could tell the graphics are now gonna be further apart from each other. And it is gonna vary depending on the screen size a little bit. You can test and play around with that now that you know where to go for it. So hopefully this video for content positioning was helpful for you. Um, we have more videos on the code slider and other videos, of course, for the bridge theme. Hopefully you can watch those and enjoy those. Thanks for watching.